Welcome to the homework for lesson 17. This is module 3 of grade 3. Name first, please. And then we're just, we've got a grid here. And it says write products into the chart as fast as you can. So here I go. The ones are just because of the multiplicative identity. They're all going to match the other factors. And then going down the column as well. The twos are going to be doubles. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. And same thing going down the column. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. Uh, the fives are going to be the next easiest. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. And then going across as well. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. And now we've got the threes. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. 18, 21, 24, and threes are, the, sometimes if you just don't know the threes, the easiest way to do it is just to think of adding three more. 12, now we know the 15 already, so that's 18, and then two more makes 20, one more is 21, 24, and now looking at the fours, it's a little bit trickier, but We've got 16 here, 20, and then 24 comes after 20, 28, that's not too bad. And then finally, two more makes 30, and then two more, 32. And now we just have a, the other fours left. Remember, the, these went, uh, after 20, went 24, 28, 32, 24, 28, 32. And then for the sixes, here we go, 30, 36, and six more, 42, and then 48. So we have 42 and 48 going down. And then finally, we're in this corner, 42 and 7 is 49, and then 8 and 7, that's 56, 5, 7. And we just have to finish our eights here. 56 and 8 times 8 is 64. Color the rows and columns with even factors yellow. Okay. Yellow. With even factors. Rows and columns with even factors. So here we go. Here's a column. Six is an even number. Eight is an even number. And now the rows two. All right, what do you notice about the factors and products that are left unshaded? I should have left this. If I erase this here, it's going to erase the 7 also. I'll have to write the 7 back in there. There. What do you notice about the factors and products that are left unshaded? Uh, it looks to me like they are all odd numbers. There's other things you can notice about them. And absolutely, if you notice something different besides what I'm writing down, make sure it's right. You know, check it to make sure that's because sometimes you something they look like they might be right. And then you find, oh, no, nah, it doesn't work for all the examples. But I'm looking at this. So there's I have 1, 3, 5, and 7, 9, 15, and 21. These all end in odd numbered ones digits. 5, 5, 5, 1, 5, 9. These are all odd are all odd. Uh, 
odd, and they're in odd numbered. Of course, they're in odd numbered rows because if they in columns, so it's the factors and the products are all odd. <clears throat> I could think of uh, what are they either two. They're ones, threes, fives, sevens, nines, yeah. Complete the chart by filling in each blank and writing an example for each rule. So if we're just looking back, we can go back and check these by looking at the chart. So, and, but we're talking about this chart here when it says complete the chart. But I'm going to look back at the other chart to see if it's true. It says odd times odd equals what? Well, let's find an example of it on the chart here. Odd times odd, that's like 3 times 3. Well, there's 9. Okay. Maybe I should circle that instead. So you can still read it. Uh, 3 times 5, those are both odd numbers. Well, then we can, so those are all the ones that are left, right? These are, so we know that odd times odd equals odd because those are all the ones that are still left. So odd times odd equals odd, and we just looked at 3 times 3 equals 9, and we could even write it 3 times 5 equals 15. Okay, even times even. What happens there? So like 2 times 2, 4. 2 times 4, 8. How about 8 times 6? Uh, 6 and 8 are both. Okay, those are always even. So, and, and we can see that that's where these columns and rows intersect is even times even, right? These are all even. They're all even. So even times even has to equal even. And 2 times 2 equals 4. There's an example. Even times odd. Okay, where can we find that? Uh, 2. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 5 is 10. 2 times 7, that's even, and 7 is odd. That's 14. So it looks like that's all even. Even times odd is even. And so we can give an example like... 2 times 5 equals 10. Explain how, right, because 2 is even and 5 is odd. And 10 is even. So it works. Explain how 7 times 6 equals 5 times 6 plus 2 times 6 is shown in the table. So we're going to say... Um, the 7 times 6, we can just look that up. 7 times 6, that's our 42. Five times 6, that was 30 in our table. We're going to use it black for this, so that was this. We're looking at 7 times 6. And then we're looking at 5 times 6. Plus 2 times 6. So that equals 30 plus 12. And I went back and circled the numbers in the table. Use what you know to find the product of 4 times 16, or 8 4s plus 8 4s. 
So what's eight fours? Eight fours equals eight times four, which is, if you want to look it up, you can, right? Look at our fours. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight fours right here. 32. Plus 32. So that's 32 plus 32, which equals 64. Today in class, we found that n times n is the sum of the first n odd numbers. Use this pattern to find the value of n for each equation below. The first is done for you. So here's what it means, just in case you don't remember. We're looking at 9 equaling 3 times 3. So we're looking at 3. If 3 is if n equals 3, then we're going to count, we're going to add up the first three odd numbers. And that's going to equal 3 times 3. So this is going to, this is counting 1, 2, 3, 4, the first four odd numbers. So that would be 4 times 4, which equals 16. Is this equal to 16? Well, here we got a 10, that 3 and that 7, right? That's 10, and that 1 and that 5 is 6. So, yeah, the 10 plus 6 equals 16. N equals 4. And now let's look at this one. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 odd numbers. So we're thinking the n equals 6. So that means we're looking at 6 times 6, which equals 36. And is that the same? Let's see. We're looking at the 9 and the 11 will make 20. And we already know what this is here because we just added that up, right? 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7. We just did that in the last problem. That adds up to 16. So we have 16 plus 20. That equals 36. So, yep. And then this one here. Now we have, what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, the first eight odd numbers, right? We didn't skip any of them, did we? 9, 11, 13. Okay, great. So that would be 8 times 8, which if you want to use the chart on the other page, or you just might know it's 64. So we just find out if all this stuff added, adds up to 64. Well, we know that everything up to the 11 adds up to... 36 because we just did that look at the 13 and the 15 those numbers you can use just look at use the digits and add those up in your head pretty easily 28 36 plus 28 if you want to do it vertically you can 14 64 still works all right so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's ten, right? N equals oh I forgot. And this one here we have to say that n equals eight. This one says, okay, the first ten odd numbers. Well we know what the first eight odd numbers add up to. 
everything up to 15 we just did that so we know that equals 64 and then we have to figure out plus the 7 17 plus 19 well that's going to be like 17 plus 20 but it's one less so it'll be 36 right so these two together are going to be 36 and then we can see if we add 64 plus 36 you can see that this 4 and that 6 is going to make a 10 and then we have 90 so that's going to be 100 and 10 times since n is 10 right 10 times 10 equals 100 so it even works for that 